It has been almost five years since the tragic mass shooting in the Oregon district. Police shot and killed the gunman, but not before he killed nine people and injured dozens more. That night, local trauma centers were flooded with victims. And 2 News reporter Leah Seabrooks is live here in the studio. Leah, you talked to a trauma surgeon on duty that night. What did he say? Brooke and John, he says he struck most by what's changed since that night, especially how health professionals address mental health and trauma. You didn't think of these mass casualty events as being something that would occur in Dayton, Ohio. Dr. Randy Woods recounts the night he and other doctors faced tragedy after a gunman opened fire on a crowd of people in the Oregon district. Woods says his team at the Miami Valley Hospital learned that patients were on the way and that something horrible had happened. Doctors on call that night immediately began to show up at the hospital to help wherever they could. And we as a trauma team were able to overcome the adversity that came at us that night. After that night, Wood says other hospitals from around the country sent flowers, banners, and letters of encouragement for hospital faculty and staff who helped save lives on August 4th. Now, he says, with national shootings happening more frequently, this has changed. Mass casualty events have become such a common occurrence that that no longer happens. Wood says the Oregon District shooting highlighted how much more work needs to be done to address the mental health crisis in America. It's the Oregon shooting, the tornadoes, the pandemic, uh, and much more have, re have led us to realize that mental health is a disease, disease process that's rampant in our communities. The memorial cre created for the nine victims is nearing completion. It is called the Seed of Life and will be dedicated this Sunday, which is five years to the day of the shooting. In Dayton, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.